It's my privilege right now to uh, invite Cassandra Diamond, who you can see uh, up here. We're glad that we can uh, have her with us today. Uh, Cassandra Diamond is the founder and uh, executive director of Bridge North. And uh, we're going to interview her, and I'm going to ask just some simple questions to start because we have been supporting Bridge North as a church for a number of years, and uh, we're excited to continue to do this, especially during this time. So welcome. Glad to have you here with us. Thank you. It's great to be back in church. (laughs) It's a little different, though, isn't it? Yes, I'm missing many of you, but hello to everybody from here. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, Cassandra, I thought I'd start by asking uh, for those who are unfamiliar, those who are newer to New City, they don't really know you, they haven't heard of Bridge North enough yet, um, what would you say to them, what would you describe, and what would you say Bridge North is all about? What's the basic idea? Thanks. Bridge North uh, Women's Mentorship and Advocacy Service is an organization that actually was raised up uh, out of the church. Um, Through just one encounter of meeting Jesus myself, it changed the trajectory of my life and Albert, that resulted in uh, actually God redirecting me back to essentially where I came from. And I came from um, a life that uh, has an experience of trafficking uh, and sexual exploitation. And uh, after um, coming to Christ, I, a couple years later, realized there was a call on my life and that was to go back and share the gospel with the girls and women um, that I know very well, that I love very much. And with that love in my heart, I take the gospel back to them, but I also take food and other real basics like medicine, um, car rides, (laughs) all of it. And so what would be some of the the highlights that you might want to share with us from Bridge North lately? What are some of the things that you're working on lately, Uh, some key things, uh, both maybe things that really excite you and maybe things that uh, that make you concerned? Mm -hmm. Bridge North really does three things all day public education and awareness, direct service, and advocacy. Great. I think uh, something that is nearest and dearest to my heart is the direct service. Okay. So first, may I mention to you, I'm very proud of the fact that we receive um, calls uh, for service for people who don't have another place to go. There is not a service available that can assist them at that time. And certainly we have somebody in our program now um, that is absolutely outside of the scope of our usual care, but yeah. also outside of the scope of everybody else's care. Yeah. No. Yeah. They're, they're forgotten. They're left out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and there's nobody who can take them in. This person has very uh, serious uh, circumstances uh, surrounding them, and we're yeah. very proud to be able to offer care and support to this person successfully. Fantastic. I think um, other things that we're very proud of as well, recently we have finished um, a culmination of about four years of work with York Region District School Board. Great. We are now in York Region uh, where we are sitting here for those um, not attending or haven't been here before. And this is a district school board that serves about um, 40,000 kids any given year and has about 10,000 uh, teachers, yeah. um, administrators, etc. That makes York Region District School Board the third largest school board in all of Ontario. We had um, met some of their alternative education teachers and they were concerned. They wanted training on human trafficking and so I went. Wonderful. And because of their, what they were seeing and their concerns and love for their students, um, then after training them, we went ahead to the district school board. We've now created a protocol for suspected and disclosed cases of human trafficking. Our kids outside of the family unit, the second largest system that they'll find themselves in is the education system. We needed to make sure that we had um, caring adults available who understood what could possibly be happening in their lives and, and create a training for them. It's now mandatory for K to 12 teachers to be trained on human trafficking, which is a video we created uh, actually with the school board, 30 minute video. So we've created awareness and actually created a safety net for our most vulnerable students. That's fantastic. I mean, that's, I mean, teachers are, kids spend more time with their teachers, not lately, but, but normally they spend more time with their teachers than often they do with their parents. And so 
to have teachers trained to be able to see the signs. I guess that's part of the training. See the signs, look for the proper uh, things, and then be able to know how to take the steps to help people in those situations. That's right. And the protocol is administrators saying to their teachers, we want to support you. Great. Fantastic. Uh, Cassandra, then what would be uh, some of the top needs for Bridge North, uh, whether it's for you personally in the position you're in or the organization as a whole? What are some of the top needs that you have as an organization and personally right now? I, I have to say I always ask for prayer and prayer because I have seen doors open that were shut. Mm. I have seen um, people who were last on the list become first on the list. Just these things that nobody else can do yeah. seems to happen. So prayer for sure is one and I'm going to give you the quick rundown on that in just a sec. Sure. The other thing I'll be honest is finances. Yeah. New City Church has helped us for many years. This is many years actually. And I, I do want to thank you for that ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And even before I engage in any conversation, I want to recognize that there are many people who are struggling themselves during, during this uh, epidemic, during COVID. And I'm asking that you first take care of your family and your church 100% of the time. Um, but outside of that, New City Church has been a part of a, an annualized baseball tournament mm -hmm. that I'm going to miss desperately attending, actually. Yep, so will I. Yep, yep. <laughs> Although I won't be as sore this year. So. <laughs> well, yeah, you hit him out of the park, actually. <laughs> um, but this baseball tournament has been a, a source of great joy, but also resources that yep. we have used for our direct service programs and for people uh, like the girl I was telling you about earlier. Yeah. For sure. So definitely financial assistances during this time and the prayer support. Fantastic. You know, we're a small organization, so we're not in touch with people as much as we really want to be. Mm. There's, it's an easy way to pray for us. For Bridge North, when you think of Bridge North, first thing you pray for is it's the people it serves. Great. Pray for the girls and the women in our program. Pray firstly that they meet Jesus. I um, am temporary. Jesus is permanent. I can assist somebody, Jesus can heal somebody. Mm -hmm. These are the differences between him and I, and so I simply point him out. Please pray uh, that the Lord introduce himself to these ladies' hearts. Great. I think also pray for my board. I have an excellent, dedicated group of individuals mm -hmm. who spend a significant amount of personal resource on Bridge North. Mm -hmm. Help us as we navigate in these decisions that are so big. Yeah. Because there's so many gaps in service for, for trafficked uh, persons that I, we can't do it all. And so many things come across our plate that we want to do. And which do you choose? Yeah. yeah. And it, it's almost like picking between better and best. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else that we should pray for? You had a list. Oh, no, I didn't want to stop you. So. Yes. Uh, I'll be honest. And, and I can't say too much, but I can say... Um, there's a fund uh, that we want to apply for. As much as we desperately want the church um, to be a part of our care, that's how we can share the gospel in our program, mm -hmm. we are now finally able to also approach grants and okay. foundations. We're only now able, because we finally met the criteria okay. of length uh, and other criteria that's just boring stuff. Sure. We'll yeah. trust you. So, let's, Leah, so please pray God's favor on our application response. Fantastic. So we're praying for the people the, that you're trying to serve, first that they would meet Jesus and experience true healing that, that you've experienced as well, and yet you're a servant in pointing people to, to him. Uh, pray for wisdom for your board and for the leadership for you as well to make decisions that are good and keep you moving in the right direction, which, by the way, is fantastic. And then pray also that um, there would be access to further funding from other sources, you're thankful for churches that are helping, individuals who are helping, but if there are other organizations, um, charities as well, grants that you can get, that that would be something that God would show favor on and that people would give. And so I think if I might, I would also say that you're hoping that people here in New City, those of you who have supported in the past in the softball tournament, uh, you've played, uh, you've given uh, by playing, by paying for playing, or you've donated it at the silent auction in the past, uh, that term is not happening this year. And so I really encourage you uh, to reach out. Uh, you can give online uh, through New City's website. 
You can uh, send a check in to, uh, to us as a church. Uh, make sure you note it to Bridge North. Uh, you can give online in the various ways that we have. You can also go to Bridge North. Is, uh, the, you go to their website and you can give online there directly as well. Um, I will note this, that um, we've talked about this before and, and both being in the positions we're in. Uh, if you want to give online, the best way still to do it is e-transfer or a check or whatever, those kind of things, because then we don't have to give percentages to other people. Every single cent can go to the work that's being done. And so if you want to give that way, you can do that both uh, through New City or through Bridge North. I uh, encourage you. But if credit card or online that way is the only way that you can or you're able to do that, please uh, feel free to do that that way as well. Uh, we're thankful for whatever uh, gift you can give. And then pray as well, of course. So um, any final thoughts, words that you would like to share with us before we spend a moment praying for you and Bridge North and our country as well? I think I just want to uh, finish off with, a, with that gratitude that's truly in my heart. Sure. This would have been the seventh um, annual baseball tournament. Yeah. And there was a lot of people who have contributed. And I wonder if they may be feeling a little disappointed this year that they are not able to continue the fun. And I just wanted to thank everybody um, uh, without naming names because so many people are involved. Yeah. But thank you for your support at New City Church and, and Albert uh, as a pastor as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's our pleasure to do that. And as I mentioned uh, earlier in a phone call we had, uh, I think it was last week or this week, I can't remember anymore. Um, it, it's just a joy to see how far Bridge North has come over the years. Uh, we sat for coffee. Uh, I can't remember how many years ago, maybe it was eight years ago, sat for coffee and Timothy's Coffee at Young and Bonshaw. And um, I remember just the look on your face of almost terror, like, here I am trying to start this thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I was saying to you, well, we're starting a church, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're in this together, and uh, how God has been so faithful over these years uh, to both you and to us as New City. And so for us to partner together and work together, it's been a real delight and privilege. So thank God for you, and I pray continued blessing on your work and those working with you. So let's take some time to pray. Father in heaven, uh, we come to you, uh, the God who does do miraculous work. Uh, thank you for the miraculous work that you do in so many ways that we don't see, but also in the ways that we do see. And I thank you for Cassandra Diamond. I thank you for her love for you and the way that you grabbed hold of her life and you brought her healing and restoration. And Father, as I've talked with her in the past, I know that that is quite a journey. Uh, it's not a journey that's over. It's a journey that continues every day. And so, Father, we pray uh, for others who are struggling in ways that Cassandra understands deeply. We pray for those who have not yet met you and who are being exploited, who are being taken advantage of, who are being abused, who are being sold. And we ask, Father, for an end to this kind of slavery, this kind of exploitation. We ask, Father, that you would rescue them personally and individually that you would show them healing and love and you would care for them in such a way that they would experience what it means to truly be loved and cared for. And I pray that they would find organizations like Bridge North and people like Cassandra and they would find help. They would find people who care and people who love them and people who are willing to walk through them through the, the weeks and months and years of the journey that is coming out of human trafficking and sex trafficking. And Father, I pray that you would protect them and that you would help them to realize there are people who do care and people who do love and people who are willing to go out. And so I pray that, that you would send out more people. More people will be willing to come and serve in this area alongside Cassandra. There are people who will be willing to support financially and in prayer. I pray that there would be Christians who are listening right now who would be, in one sense, hearing this and moved by you to say, how can I help? That you would move them to pray, you would move them to give financially, and you would move them to say, how else can I make a difference in serving those in such need? And Father, we pray for Bridge North as an organization. I pray that you would give them wisdom, especially the board, the leadership, help them to make really good decisions, help them to use the resources they are given well. And I pray that you provide more, that there would be not only churches and individuals that are giving uh, generously, but there would be other people and other organizations who would give through different funds and different charities and be able to support this ongoing, incredibly important work that you have started ultimately. And I pray that you would keep it going. And I pray also that you protect you protect Cassandra and other leadership. You protect them from those who are fiercely opposed to what they're doing. 
They see the work that they are doing in exploiting people uh, exposed. They see it being uh, fought against. And I pray that you protect Cassandra. You protect the others. You protect the women uh, involved and the children involved. And that you would bring change. And I thank you for the development in our school system. I thank you that York Region has embraced this training. I pray that it would be very effective with teachers and with students. And I pray as well for government officials that they would make laws and rules that are good. And Father, I pray that you would forgive us for being a country where it seems increasingly we take what's evil and we call it good, and we take what's good and we call it evil. And I pray that you'd forgive us and that you would open our eyes to the blindness that we have, to what is an increasing prevailing worldview that is doing that. And I ask, Father, that you would replace the lies with truth you would expose the evil and you would show good and you would take people who are suffering, who are oppressed in this way and in other ways too, in these times especially, who are very shut down and closed off and forgotten and that you would use Christians to be people who reach out in mercy and in love. That you would give us hearts that care about those who are oppressed, those who are victims of injustice, who truly need our help. Father, may we be a light for you reaching out in love and in mercy and showing true love and care because you have first so wonderfully shown mercy and love to us. So Father, will you protect, will you lead, will you guide? We thank you again for Cassandra. We thank you for Bridge North. We pray your blessing on them. And we ask, Father, that we be moved to give financially, to care for those in need, and to pray for more of this work to be done. We praise you. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Thanks again for joining us. Pleasure to have you here today. Normally we'd shake your hand or give you a hug, but we're going to forgo those things today. Yes. <laughs> there you go.